Now, genital mutilation is like the cutting edge of cool, and people are getting rich from it. Amber Athey, who's with The Spectator London, has done a lot of research on this. She's just obtained lecture slides from Georgetown School of Medicine, which was once a respected place. The Spectator published a story moments ago. Amber Athey joins us first on this show to explain what she found. Amber, thanks so much for coming on. So Georgetown University Hospital, right in Georgetown in D.C., been there many times. What are they doing? It's beyond disturbing. These students are being taught straight up lies and propaganda. And I want to point out that this is not some elective course. This is actually a foundational requirement for first year medical students to learn about the human reproductive system and human sexuality. And in this course, Dr. David Reitman, who is actually a practicing pediatrician at Georgetown University Hospital and looks exactly as ghoulish as you might expect, by the way, is teaching these students that if they don't subscribe to the idea that transgender children need to be put on puberty blockers followed by hormone therapy and eventually surgical sex changes, that their patients are probably going to commit suicide. It's a form of emotional blackmail. And he straight up lies about the negative side effects of these so-called gender affirming treatments, claiming that puberty blockers, for example, are fully and completely reversible, which we know is a lie because children who have been on these for years report insane side effects like osteoporosis, they report mental deficiencies, they report infertility in some cases, tragically. So this doctor and Georgetown by extension is pushing propaganda on medical students for financial and political expediency. Where are the Jesuits? It's a Jesuit school, it's affiliated with the Catholic Church, which you wouldn't think would wanna be within 100 miles of any story where kids and sex intersect. Why would the Catholic Church, and I'm pro-Catholic, I'm just for the record, but like, why would the Catholic Church have anything to do with this? Why wouldn't they immediately say to Georgetown, you can't do this or you're no longer a Catholic college? The fact that this is happening at a Catholic school, Tucker, I think really speaks to just how deep demonic influences have embedded themselves in our culture. Um, I spoke to multiple Catholic ethicists for this story who made quite clear that this is completely inappropriate and a huge violation of Catholic medical standards. The Catholic Church and especially its education arms are supposed to be teaching objective truth and biological reality. And the truth is that no matter how many drugs you pump into a child, no matter how many surgeries you put someone through, they can never be a member of the opposite sex. And God creates all of his children with love. He doesn't create his children in the supposed wrong body. Well, exactly. And it was just not that long ago they were telling us born this way, which, you know, I kind of accept, you know, you should accept people as they as they are born. But now, no, uh, you got to get the doctors with the scalpels and the pharma drugs in there to destroy them. It's really all bewildering. Amber Athey, thank you so much for your reporting on this. Thank you, Tucker. Oh, boy, they're doubling down on crazy, right? Because they think they're about to lose power on November 8th. Uh,